Welcome to Redefining Posture and the Alexander Technique. You're lying on your back on a soft but firm surface like a yoga mat or a rug. Your head is supported by several inches of soft cover books or a folded towel. Your eyes are open and your knees are bent and pointed toward the ceiling. Rest your hands on your torso wherever you feel is comfortable. In the Alexander Technique, we are investigating the way in which you support yourself and the way in which you allow yourself to be supported, which is intertwined with your relationship to gravity. Gravity is one of the only constants in this life, and while people often talk about it as an enemy pulling them down, in the Alexander Technique we become friends with gravity. And a lie down is an excellent time to cultivate this friendship. So as you're lying there now, begin by noticing the ground underneath you. It's there to support you, but you must allow it to do its job. So as you notice the ground, also notice the contact you are making with the ground. Without doing anything to change it, notice what areas of your back are touching the ground. Are there parts of your back that are not touching the ground at all? Notice the parts of your feet that are in contact with the ground and your upper arms and elbows. Notice the contact your head is making with the books or the towel. And now check in to see if you are holding your neck muscles in such a way that your head is not fully supported by the books or the towel. Without pushing, can you give more of the weight of your head to that support, thereby helping you to ungrip where your head and neck come together all the way through the whole column of the neck and through the tops of the shoulders, clavicle, and upper back. It's as though you are surrendering your head to the support underneath it. So you're investigating how little work you need to do to have your head there. You really don't have to do anything at all to keep your head there. Check in with your breath, too. You're allowing it to flow in and out of your nostrils easily. And now notice if you're holding your upper back and rib cage away from the floor at all. And with the knowledge that the ground is there underneath you to support you, allow your upper back and ribs to soften in response to the ground. It's a choice you are making to stop bracing and rigidifying your rib cage in order to allow the ground to have your back a little bit more. And now notice if you're holding your lower back and pelvis away from the floor. And can you let that whole area lower back, sacrum, hips, pelvic floor. Can you let that whole area surrender into the support of the ground? You're giving up whatever way you have previously held on to that area in order to let it open up and to receive the support from the ground coming through it.
And just by doing that alone, you are changing your relationship to the ground, trusting it a little bit more than you did before. And now acknowledge your whole lower back, rib cage, upper back, neck and head. Acknowledging all of that as one unit. Can you see if you can let that all surrender into the support of the ground together even more? And now, including in that unit, your arms. Notice the weight of your arms on the ground. Can you let the weight of your upper arms help your arms drop back into your shoulder sockets without pushing them? Again, just giving into gravity a bit more. And let the contact of your hands on your torso help your hands soften and open up. And the weight of your hands resting on your torso helps your back release even more onto the floor underneath you. And let the contact your feet are making with the ground help open and spread the soles of your feet a bit more onto the earth. Heels and balls softening, toes ungripping. And now with all that release and surrender into the support of the ground, we introduce our spatial intentions so that we're not just melting into a puddle on the ground, but we have energized directions in which we want to go. So while maintaining all of that beautiful release into the supportive ground through your head, neck, and back, you're also intending the spine to be drawn into more length from the sacrum out through the crown of the head. Through that release and intention, you're finding more decompression, length, and space through your whole spine. And while maintaining all of that release through your arms and hands, you send the intention for your arms to widen out of your back to the elbows, which helps you to not squeeze through your shoulder blades, armpits, biceps, forearms, or wrists, but instead lets your arms spread across your back like wings. And while the feet and hips remain rooted and spreading into the ground, you send the intention for your hamstrings and quads calves and shins to release up and out your kneecaps towards the ceiling. As if your kneecaps were the corks in two bottles of champagne that you're uncorking, letting your legs bubble upward. Surrendering to the support of the ground and releasing out your head, out your elbows, and out your knees. And as you go about your day today, give yourself time to stop and notice if you're bracing against gravity at all. And see if instead of bracing against gravity, Know that you can embrace gravity, letting it help you release excess tension and getting you further in touch with the constant support of the ground. <laughs>